Well, Libra, Sun, and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me, and that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. For some of you, you can be connecting with a Pisces, possibly even a Gemini. doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. Let's see. How does Libra currently view this relationship? Okay. Ooh, what's going on? We have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Empress. And then we have the Hermit. I feel like you're thinking about walking away from something. Now, I don't necessarily feel like currently at the moment you've actually walked away from a situation, but I feel like you're definitely taking it into consideration. And I do feel like it has a lot to do with a person and it has a lot to do with a brand new beginning that could very well have the potential for something long-term to come out of this. But let's look at the person that you're connecting with. Let's see. How does this person currently view this relationship with Libra? Hmm. We have the Three of Swords. We also have Temperance. And then we also have the Eight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Four of Wands. Interesting. With the King of Cups. I want to start with this person first, Libra. And then we'll jump over to you so that way the reading in itself flows and it just makes sense. Now, in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship, it kind of looks like this person went from feeling really good about you and this relationship with you and where things are heading here between you and them to basically feeling like they're at the verge of losing you. More of the story, especially because the two of you are not showing up as a true pair. This is kind of telling me that this person feels like there's a drastic shift happening here between you and them. And it is concerning this person. It is causing this person to basically think that this relationship between you and them might be coming to an end. Now, with all of that being said, I kind of feel like this person more than likely is going to basically express their concerns in regards to what's going on here between you and them because this person does come across to me as somebody who is worried that this relationship between you and them might be coming to an end, especially because they're noticing the drastic shift here that's going on between you and them. It kind of looks like the two of you went from, you know, being very, very close to kind of, I don't know, kind of like pulling apart from one another. Like the best way I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing. Like I said, it is it is concerning this person. I'm going to be honest. It is concerning this person with the Eight of Wands being out here. Don't be surprised if this person basically brings this up to your attention. Like, is everything okay? Like, are we good? Is everything okay? Like, because I feel like this person is a little bit concerned. Now, they're trying their hardest to not get too far ahead of themselves when it comes down to how things are playing out currently at the moment between you and them. But... It's definitely a concern that they have that this relationship might be coming to an end. Now, with the Seven of Swords and the Empress and the Hermit being out here, Libra, I kind of feel like you are definitely considering and walking away from this whole entire relationship here between you and them. I want to see how you feel depending on what comes out. I might just, you know, clarify the Seven of Swords just to kind of see why you're considering and walking away from this relationship. I feel like for the most part, it's something that you're definitely thinking about doing. I don't necessarily feel like you're expressing it to the person to the right of me whatsoever. It kind of looks like with the Hermit being out here, you're definitely keeping it to yourself. Let's see how you feel. How does Libra feel? It kind of looks like currently at the moment, you just want to kind of focus more so on yourself, okay? Now, with all of that being said, I feel like, again, you're considering and walking away from this whole entire situation. I don't see you currently at the moment doing it just yet. It just kind of looks like currently at the moment, you want to kind of take this time to really focus more so on yourself, possibly, you know, your material world, your overall independence, things of that nature. But it's not telling me why you're considering and, you know, bringing this whole entire relationship to an end here between you and this person in particular. I think that right now you're really trying to figure out um, if ultimately this is where you want to be. Don't get me wrong. 
the two of you are showing up as a true pair twice, okay? We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, and then we also have the King and the Queen of Cups. There is a lot of love here between you and this person, and there's also a lot of potential here. I just want to see why you're considering and walking away from this person, so that way I have like a rough idea of what's going on on your end, because... I feel like when it comes down to this person in particular, Libra, this is somebody that you do see a lot of potential with. It's not one of those situations where you're dealing with somebody that you don't see the potential with because I feel like you do, but I also kind of feel like you're definitely thinking about, you know, what's going to basically serve your highest good in the end. Is it going to be this relationship or is it going to be you walking away and kind of focusing more so on yourself? So let's see. I want to look at the Seven of Swords and then we'll jump back to this person. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we also have the Fool, and then we have the Six of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, bam. We have the King of Swords, we got the King of Pentacles, then we have the King of Cups, and then we have the Eight of Cups. Libra, Libra, Libra. I kind of feel like right now, when it comes down to walking away from this whole entire situation between you and this person, it's not... It's not telling me exactly why you want to walk away from the situation. The only thing that I can think of, I mean, we do have the Five of Swords out here. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that maybe you don't fully trust this entire situation. Maybe you kind of feel like, you know, you might be wasting your time or there, that there's other things that you should be focusing on, like, you know, your career and your overall success, things of that nature. But I'm going to be honest, between you and I, right, you... you you're dealing with a King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. The King of Swords is somebody who's very big on communication, hence why I'm not surprised that this person's starting to get a little bit concerned, and I kind of see this person being extremely blunt and straightforward with you when it comes down to this overall concern that they have in regards to, you know, how things are transpiring here between you and them, which is something that I really do like, because this is somebody who's very big on communication. With the King of Pentacles being out here, this is kind of telling me that this is somebody who's very committed and devoted to you and very, very loyal. With the King of Cups being out here, this is somebody who's emotionally mature. This is somebody who has a lot of love for you. This is somebody that cares for you deeply. That's what you're thinking about walking away from. And that's just something that I want you to just be mindful of when it comes down to whatever decision you choose to make moving forward. I'm not saying that walking away from this whole entire situation is a god-awful thing for you to do because it kind of looks like, you know... Your whole thing is, is that you don't want to probably waste your time, which is totally understandable, but I would get it if you were like dealing with a page, you know what I mean? Like something, like somebody who doesn't really have much to really offer you, but the fact that you're dealing with a king of swords, king of pentacles, king of cups, I mean, oh no, I, I would, I would think long and hard about it before you decide to kind of pull the plug, right? On this whole entire relationship between you and this person. I kind of feel like a lot of you are leaning more towards, you know, your overall growth, your expansion, your career, your success, the life that you want to create for yourself, things of that nature. But I'm going to be honest, you would be leaving a good thing behind. And I rarely ever say that. But you would be leaving a really good thing behind if you choose to pull the plug on this relationship. But ultimately, right now, it kind of looks like you're trying to figure out, you know, which path is basically best for you. How does this person feel? We have, oh man, we got the Six of Pentacles, we got the Knight of Pentacles, and then we also have the Sun. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Page of Swords, and then we also have the Lovers, and then we also have the Nine of Cups, wow. With the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Like I said, I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you do decide to pull the plug on this relationship, you will be leaving a really, really good thing behind. I'm not going to lie to you about that. I'm not. Um, when it comes down to this person, man, and how they're currently feeling about this relationship with you, despite the fact that, granted, they are kind of worried about this whole drastic shift that's going on here between you and them. They're not entirely sure why this shift is happening between you and them, but it is concerning them, as I mentioned. But if we're just focusing on the relationship without, you know, this person's concern, when it comes down to how things are like changing here between you and them this is somebody who's very fixated on you this is somebody who has a lot of love for you this is somebody um, who's really happy with you this is somebody who wants to pursue a future with you 
See what I'm saying? The fact that this person is showing up as a Knight of Pentacles, though. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's very consistent. You know, this is not a wishy-washy individual. This is somebody who knows what it is that they want with you and is very determined to manifest and create the life that they want with you. As I mentioned, the relationship that the two of you share with one another, it means a lot to this person. It makes this person very happy. It also causes this person to basically feel like they finally found that person that they could you know, build and establish a life with. So this relationship between you and this person holds a lot of meaning to this person. All right, let's keep going. I'm more worried about you than I am about them. <laughs> what actions will Libra take towards this person or moving forward? All right. We have the Hierophant. We have the Six of Pentacles, then we have the Seven of Cups, and then we have the Death card, and then we also have the Moon with Judgment. And then we have the Ten of Wands. I wish I knew why you really wanted to walk away from this relationship, to be completely honest. The only thing that I was getting, like I said, is that maybe, you know, a lot of you want to place, you know, more of your time and energy on focusing on you and your overall growth and expansion, your career, your overall success, you know, things of that nature, Libra, but... I kind of feel like this is a very difficult decision for you to make, especially because you and I know very, very well that it's hard to find somebody like this. And I feel like you know that. Like, I don't feel like I'm telling you something that you don't already know. Like, it, in this day and age, it's very, very difficult, you know, for somebody to find what it is that you have currently at the moment. Somebody that's very committed and devoted to you. Somebody who's consistent. You know, somebody who's emotionally mature. Somebody who's big on communication. I mean, like, you got a really good thing and you know that. So... It is kind of throwing me off as to why you want to bring this relationship to an end. Like I said, the only thing that I can think of is that a lot of you just want to like, you know, go back to kind of focusing on yourself. And maybe it has a lot to do with the simple fact that you're having a very difficult time going through this transition from being single and focusing on you to being in a full-blown committed relationship with a person. <clears throat> Excuse me. But with all of that being said, you're still... The moon and the death card, you're still considering and bringing this relationship to an end here. Like I said, it could have a lot to do with the simple fact that, you know, going from, you know, being single and solely focusing on yourself, possibly even your career or, you know, just overall the life that you want to create for yourself and then having to be in a committed relationship, that's a very... That's a very difficult transition for a lot of people to basically go through. It's not to say that, you know, you'll never get to that point where you'll be able to fully adapt to this whole entire situation between you and this person because it is very much so possible, but it is going to take some time. That's one thing that I will say, but I don't know. I kind of feel like moving forward, you're still giving into this whole entire situation, but still considering and bringing this whole entire relationship to an end here. It just kind of looks like moving forward, you don't really know what it is that you want to do. You know, I kind of feel like, you know, without a shadow of a doubt that it's very difficult to find somebody like this, Libra. Very, very difficult, especially in this day and age. And I kind of feel like that's what makes the whole entire situation that much harder. Um, okay, we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we got the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Four of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Swords with the Nine of Swords, and then we also have the Ten of Wands. When it comes down to how this person plans on moving forward, I kind of feel like this person, for the most part, can basically sense that something's not... Something's not right, okay? And I kind of feel like this person, for the most part, is pretty spot on when it comes down to something's not right. Um, and I kind of feel like that has a lot to do with the simple fact that you are kind of secretly considering and bringing this whole entire relationship to an end. Now, moving forward, I don't see you bringing this relationship to an end, but it's definitely a thought in the back of your mind. I'm not, I'm not going to lie about that because it's definitely showing up time and time again on your end. I feel like uh, moving forward, you're going to be portraying this image, Libra, like, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine, you know, between you and this person. But I feel like this person can definitely sense that something's not right. And like I said, it's it's worrying this person. You know what I mean? Um, it is because you have to also keep in mind that you're dealing with somebody who 
is serious about having that growth and that expansion with you and creating that future that they basically want with you and the fact that you know they feel like something's wrong and that you know you're kind of changing and this whole entire dynamic between you and them is kind of changing it is real it's really concerning for this person and just keep in mind this whole entire relationship is not easy for this person either this is a very difficult transition that they're going through as well i mean they have their doubts and their reservations when it comes down to you without a shadow of a doubt but they're very determined to see this through this is not that type of individual that is coming off to me as somebody who's going to back out when things get hard you know like this is somebody who's very determined to see this relationship through no matter how difficult it gets you know what i mean um like i said libra i'm not gonna lie to you someone like this is very very hard to find very very hard to find and i think that you know that you know the likelihood of you meeting someone like this again it's, it's very possible but you're gonna have to go through a lot of bad apples to find someone like this again. It's just something to be just just something to keep in mind moving forward. Any advice for Libra? <clears throat> we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I mean, listen, it just doesn't get any better than this person. I'm I'm so sorry. It's very rare to find somebody like this, which I've already said that. And then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know, this is kind of like the energy that you're sitting in. You're not entirely sure whether to pull the plug on this relationship or to continue to give to this entire situation here between you and this person. Ultimately, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I kind of feel like you know, you know, exactly what you should do in the end. Even though right now you may not feel like you know exactly what to do in the end, I feel like eventually you're going to reach that point of knowing exactly what you want to do moving forward, whether that's leaving this person behind or continuing to give to to this entire relationship here between you and this person between you and i right because we're besties here i would continue to give to this relationship and see this relationship through i think that right now you may not feel entirely secure when it comes down to this relationship that you share with this person and i feel like for the most part that's normal because this person's experiencing the same exact thing but i feel like if you just allow enough time to go by um you know, maybe things might change. Maybe you might start to feel more secure within your relationship with this person and where things are heading here between you and this person. But I would, I would, I would stick around a little longer, Libra. I'm gonna be honest because if you were dealing with a page or somebody who didn't know what the fuck they wanted, then I'll be like, all right, you know, go off and do your thing, go focus on you. But you're not dealing with that. You know what I mean? So I would say stick around a little longer. Give this person the benefit of the doubt and see where life can possibly take the both of you. You're not dealing with somebody who doesn't know what the hell they want. This is somebody who's pretty dead set on you. Um, so with all of that being said, I would kind of hold off on pulling the plug. And that's just me talking to you like a best friend. I would definitely hold off on pulling like the plug on this relationship and just... Just see this through and see what happens. Just take it day by day, you know, and see what happens. Because right now, you don't really know what you want to do. And I feel like you just need a little bit more time to really figure out if this is where you want to be. Um, and I feel like eventually you'll reach that point of feeling like, okay, like this is where I want to be. Or no, this is just not for me. But give it time. Don't make any sort of impulsive decisions as of right now. I mean, you do have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Like I said, I don't feel like it gets any better than this person, to be completely honest. Uh, so with that being said, I think that it's, I think that it's worth, you know, a shot. I will say that Libra. All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.